Hello guys and very welcome to my channel. Can you see what this is? It's actually another car battery here. Uh, of course a high voltage battery. It's from an uh, e-tron 2019 and it is rated to 95 kilowatt hours. So it's a really really big battery and here I have the battery management. This is the brain of the whole battery. Sadly, I guess that I never can have this to run together with any other inverter or even put out the power from the cells out to the connections here. So I have to open it up and hopefully I can find out how the modules are configured and also how the cells are configured inside the modules. Here we go. to see the modules this is very very sticky So here we have it, here we have five modules and as you can see they are built as the, you can see here 3S 4 pack and the, each module are rated at a capacity of 2.65 kilowatt hours and that's the minimal energy so just great. All right, guys, here we have a very, very nice pack. So I'm looking so much forward to try this out. So my plan here is to uh, take this upper section with me home to my house and uh, connect it into my inverter and see how well it can handle this because uh, every module here are built up from 3S configuration and that means that every module here are rated to a little over 12 volt. So my inverter can handle up to 60 volt. So there can be a little issue before I have the cell voltage down to just under 4 volt I guess. But I have to take care of that first of course and then connect it to my inverter and see what will happen because when everything is hooked up and uh, are in working order, as I hope, 
I will uh, be able to at least charge the cells up to 3.9 or 3.95 or even all the way up to 4 volts per cell. I don't know that yet, but I, I will try it out. The biggest difference between this battery and my EA battery is that this battery are built from perch cells and not prismatic as they are at the EAP car. So uh, what that means is that uh, those cells are laying in some kind of plastic bag, easily explained. And the good thing here is that I uh, don't have to reconfigure the, the cell configuration because it's not possible with those kind of modules. They are laser welded together, so it is not possible to open this up. Uh, of course I can open it up, but I will then destroy the modules. So that's why I am going to run this on 15S configuration. And I also think that it will just be perfect because I will have, I will have a little higher voltage and also a little less power loss there. So not much, but there is always better with a higher voltage. And after that, I will of course buy another BMS that will take care of all the balancing and stuff. But just for testing, I will not care about cell balancing in this stage anyway. So on my way home here, I was just uh, start wondering, was it really so that I could reach 60 volt at uh, as an end voltage on my grow watt inverters? Hmm. I'm not really sure. So uh, I did a test here. Let's go into the menu and program 19. There we have it. 58.4. It is actually the highest voltage that I can reach with my grow watt inverter. Let's try to set it here up to 58.5. And save back to 58.4. So 58.4 will be a cell voltage to 3.893 volts. And normally that is just perfectly fine, but there is some cases when I would like to raise that voltage. For example, if I know that tomorrow it's going to be a lot of snow or very gray or yeah whatever then it would be great to just charge the battery up a little bit more let's say to 4.1 volts but now i don't have that possibility so i'm not really sure if i should go with this kind of 15s setup here i did wrote an email down to grow what but they haven't come back to me yet and I have tried to reach out to them earlier, but I never heard anything from them. So, I mean, grow out inverters, they are just great, but the support are not so great. Not for me anyway, so I, maybe that changed, I don't know. However, I just would like you to know that, guys. Oh, well, that was very sad. I had really hoped that it was possible to use those modules with that kind of cell configuration, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching guys. And uh, I hope I see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you and goodbye.